Bela Lugosi, an actor renowned for his iconic portrayal of Count Dracula, was born in Lugos, Hungary, in 1882. His birth name was Bela Ferenc Dejo Blasco. He began his career on the stage in Hungary before transitioning to film. In 1927, Lugosi made his American film debut in The Silent Command. However, it was his role as Count Dracula in the 1931 film adaptation of Bram Stoker's novel that catapulted him to stardom. His portrayal of the Transylvanian vampire became synonymous with the character and cemented his place in film history. Despite his success in Dracula, Lugosi struggled to find steady work in Hollywood. He was often typecast in horror roles and faced financial difficulties throughout his career. However, he continued to act in films and on stage, including a memorable performance in the 1951 film Bride of the Monster. Lugosi's influence on the horror genre is undeniable. His portrayal of Count Dracula has become a classic archetype in horror films, and his impact can still be felt today. His legacy lives on through his films and the countless actors who have been inspired by his work. Bela Lugosi is a classic actor, best known for his iconic role in the 1931 film Dracula. You might have a cherished memory associated with this actor or a particular moment from one of his works that has had a lasting impact on you. We would love to hear your stories and memories related to this legendary figure in the comments below. There are many fascinating facts about Bela Lugosi's life and career that you might find surprising. From his humble beginnings in Hungary to his rise to stardom in Hollywood, this actor's journey was full of ups and downs. Despite the challenges he faced, Bela Lugosi remained a beloved figure in the world of film and television. Did you know that Bela Lugosi's portrayal of Dracula was so iconic that it defined the character for generations to come? His distinctive accent and suave demeanor made him the perfect choice to play the infamous vampire. But there's much more to Bela Lugosi's story than just Dracula. Keep watching to learn about the funny, shocking, and sad facts about this classic actor's life and career. You might be surprised by what you discover. Do you have a favorite Bela Lugosi film or performance? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Born Bela Ferenc Dejo Blasco in Lugos, Hungary, on October 20, 1882. The actor who would become Bela Lugosi was the son of a banker. His upbringing was middle class, and he displayed an early interest in the arts, particularly theater. Lugosi's first exposure to acting came as a teenager when he joined the local theater group. He quickly discovered a passion for the stage and began performing in various productions. In 1901, he enrolled in the Budapest Academy of Drama and Speech Arts, where he honed his craft and developed his unique style. Following his graduation, Lugosi became a prominent figure in the Hungarian theater scene. He starred in numerous productions, including Shakespeare's Hamlet and Romeo and Juliet. However, his career was interrupted when he was drafted into the Austro-Hungarian army during World War I. After the war, Lugosi returned to the stage and continued to make a name for himself as a talented actor. In the early 1920s, he caught the attention of a Broadway producer who invited him to perform in a production of The Red Poppy. This opportunity brought Lugosi to the United States, where he would eventually become a household name. Influenced by the great actors of his time, Lugosi developed a distinctive style that set him apart from his peers. He was known for his intense, brooding performances and his ability to convey complex emotions with just a look. One of Lugosi's earliest mentors was the Hungarian actor and director Paul Lucas. Lucas recognized Lugosi's talent and took him under his wing, teaching him the finer points of acting and directing. Lugosi's experiences with Lucas had a profound impact on his career and helped shape his unique style. Another key influence on Lugosi's career was the American actor Lon Chaney. Chaney was known for his transformative performances and his ability to create memorable characters through makeup and body language. Lugosi admired Chaney's work and sought to emulate his approach to acting. In addition to his mentors, Lugosi was also inspired by the classic horror films of the 1920s and 1920s. He was particularly drawn to the works of German expressionist filmmakers such as F.W. Murnau and Fritz Lang. These films, with their dark, atmospheric visuals and intense performances, resonated with Lugosi's own sensibilities and helped inspire his iconic portrayal of Count Dracula. Bela Lugosi is best known for his role as Count Dracula in the 1931 classic film Dracula. This role propelled him to stardom and cemented his place in film history. Lugosi's distinctive Hungarian accent and intense, brooding presence made him perfect for the role of the iconic vampire. 
Following the success of Dracula, Lugosi appeared in numerous horror films throughout the 1930s and 1940s. In 1934, he starred in The Black Cat, a chilling tale of murder and revenge based on the Edgar Allan Poe story. Lugosi played opposite Boris Karloff, and the two would go on to make several more films together. In 1943, Lugosi starred in The Return of the Vampire, a film that saw him reprise his role as a vampire, although not as Dracula. Lugosi's performance was once again praised by critics and audiences alike. For those new to Lugosi's work, Dracula is an excellent place to start. It's a classic film that still holds up today, and Lugosi's performance is truly iconic. The Black Cat is another must-watch, as it showcases Lugosi's ability to play both hero and villain with equal skill. The Return of the Vampire is also a great film, and it's interesting to see Lugosi play a different kind of vampire. Overall, Lugosi's filmography is a testament to his talent and versatility as an actor. His work continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. Born Bela Ferrand de Gio Blasco in 1882, the actor who would become Bela Lugosi found his passion for the stage early in life. As a child in Lugos, Hungary, he was captivated by the traveling theater troops that would pass through town. He was particularly enthralled by the power of performance, how a single actor could transport an audience to another world. This fascination stayed with him into adulthood. After serving in World War I, Lugosi pursued a career in the theater, eventually joining the National Theater of Hungary. It was there that he discovered his true calling, the art of acting. He loved the way it challenged him how he could explore different characters and emotions. A pivotal moment came in 1927 when Lugosi was cast as Count Dracula in a Broadway production of the same name. The show was a massive hit, and Lugosi's portrayal of the iconic vampire was praised by critics and audiences alike. This classic role would become his signature, and it opened the door to a successful career in Hollywood. Throughout his career, Lugosi remained dedicated to his craft, always pushing himself to deliver the best performance possible. His passion for acting was infectious, inspiring those around him to strive for greatness. Even in his later years, as his health declined, Lugosi never lost his love for the stage. He continued to act until his death in 1956, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire actors to this day. After facing political difficulties in his home country, the actor Bela Lugosi left Hungary and continued his film career in Berlin via Vienna. In the 1935 film Black Friday, Lugosi played the character Eric Marnay. There were claims that he was hypnotized by technical advisor Manley P. Hall to make his death seem more intense, but these have been debunked. At the peak of his personal struggles, including financial troubles and severe health issues, Lugosi's wife, Lillian Arch, divorced him. She went against his wishes and took a job working as secretary for Brian Donlevy. Sadly, her fears of her husband's were realized when she left him for her new boss. Bela Lugosi, a Hungarian-American actor, faced numerous challenges early in his career. Born Bela Ferenc de Blasco in 1882, he struggled financially, often living in poverty. Despite his dire circumstances, he pursued his passion for acting, taking on various stage roles in his homeland. As Lugosi ventured into the world of film, he encountered industry skepticism. His thick Hungarian accent and unique acting style led some to question his suitability for leading roles. However, Lugosi remained undeterred, honing his craft and refusing to conform to the norm. One significant breakthrough came when Lugosi was cast as Count Dracula in the 1931 film adaptation of Bram Stoker's novel. Although the role would become synonymous with his name, it initially brought him little financial success. In fact, Lugosi earned a mere 500 per week for his iconic performance, a far cry from the salaries of his contemporaries. Determined to overcome these obstacles, Lugosi continued to seek out diverse roles, often appearing in low-budget horror films. While these productions did not always receive critical acclaim, they allowed him to maintain his presence in the industry and develop a devoted fan base. Lugosi's resilience and unwavering commitment to his craft ultimately earned him a place in Hollywood history. His legacy as a classic horror icon remains, serving as a testament to his perseverance and the power of creative solutions in overcoming adversity. Despite the hurdles he faced, Lugosi's impact on the film industry continues to resonate with audiences today. In the film Invisible Ghost, the main theme from The Devil Bat, the actor's recent PRC vehicle, can be heard early on. This classic horror movie marks the beginning of the actor's journey with Monogram, 
Later in his career, the actor took on the role of Dr. Eric Vornoff in Bride of the Monster, which became his last speaking part in a film. His performance in this movie is a testament to his enduring talent and contribution to the genre. The actor was born in Lugos, which was then part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, but now belongs to Timis County, Romania, and is called Lugoi in Romanian. At the end of World War I, the county was annexed to the Kingdom of Romania, resulting in a population that was predominantly Hungarian. This political deal occurred without the Hungarian people having a say in the matter, leading to significant changes in the region's demographics. In summary, the actor's career included notable roles in horror films, with his last speaking part in Bride of the Monster. He was born in Lugos, which is now part of Romania, and was annexed to the Kingdom of Romania after World War I, leading to changes in the region's demographics. Bela Lugosi's career breakthrough came in 1927 with his lead role in the Broadway production of Dracula. His portrayal of the titular character was so captivating that it led to his iconic casting in the 1931 film adaptation, which solidified his place in cinematic history. The actor's performance in Dracula was groundbreaking, bringing a new level of intensity and sophistication to the horror genre. Lugosi's distinctive accent and elegant mannerisms created an unforgettable portrayal of the famous vampire, which has resonated with audiences for decades. Peer actors and critics alike praise Lugosi's work in Dracula. Co-star Helen Chandler, who played Mina in the film, described him as absolutely mesmerizing on set. Renowned film critic Paul Ann Kale noted that Lugosi's performance created a whole new category of horror stars. Following the success of Dracula, Lugosi became one of the most recognizable horror actors of his time. He starred in numerous classic films, including White Zombie and The Black Cat. Despite facing typecasting and personal struggles, Lugosi's impact on the genre remains significant. In recent years, there has been a resurgence of interest in Lugosi's career and legacy. Modern filmmakers and actors have cited him as an inspiration, and his influence can be seen in various contemporary works. Today, Bela Lugosi's legacy continues to inspire and captivate audiences. His iconic portrayal of Dracula remains a classic example of the power of a truly mesmerizing performance. As film historian David J. Scal put it, Lugosi's Dracula is one of those rare moments when everything comes together perfectly. The right actor, the right role, the right time. At the height of his career, Bela Lugosi owned four large dogs, including a white one, two black Dobermans, and a gray one. The actor's love for dogs was well known, and they often accompanied him on set. Lugosi is best known for his role as Count Dracula in the 1931 film adaptation of Bram Stoker's novel. However, his final movie for Universal before a brief hiatus was Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman in 1943, where he played the monster. The actor appeared with Lon Chaney Jr. in five films The Wolfman, The Ghost of Frankenstein, Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman, Abbott, and Costello Meet Frankenstein, and The Black Sleep. Their on-screen chemistry was undeniable, making them a formidable duo in the horror genre. In Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman, Lugosi's monster is resurrected and terrorizes a small town, leading to a showdown with the Wolfman. Despite the actor's limited screen time, his portrayal of the monster left a lasting impression on audiences. Lugosi's final film for Universal was Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein in 1948. The actor reprised his role as Count Dracula, adding a touch of humor to the classic monster mashup. In conclusion, Bela Lugosi's career was marked by his iconic roles in horror films, his memorable appearances with Lon Chaney Jr., and his love for large dogs. His contributions to the genre continue to resonate with audiences today. Bela Lugosi, known for his iconic portrayal of Count Dracula, had a unique approach to acting that set him apart from his contemporaries. He was born in 1882 in Lugos, Hungary, and began his career on the stage before transitioning to film. Lugosi's artistic vision was heavily influenced by his experiences in Europe during the early 20th century. He was a member of the Thalia Theater in Budapest, where he developed a deep appreciation for the expressive power of the human face and body. This appreciation was reflected in his later film work, where he often used subtle facial expressions and body language to convey complex emotions. The actor's approach to his work was characterized by a commitment to authenticity and a deep understanding of the characters he played. He once said, I am a great believer in the fact that an actor should never be himself. He should always be a creature of circumstance. This philosophy was reflected in his portrayal of Count Dracula, 
where he brought a sense of otherworldly mystery and menace to the character. Lugosi's personal experiences also influenced his work. He was a refugee who fled Europe during World War II, and his experiences as an immigrant in America informed his portrayal of outsiders and marginalized figures. In the 1931 film Dracula, for example, Lugosi's portrayal of the Count as a tragic and sympathetic figure resonated with audiences who saw themselves as outsiders in American society. Despite his success, Lugosi struggled with typecasting and addiction throughout his career. However, his contributions to the world of film and theater have left a lasting impact, and his legacy continues to inspire actors and filmmakers today. His unique style and approach to acting serve as a reminder that even the most iconic characters can be brought to life in new and unexpected ways. After gaining fame for his role as Count Dracula, Bela Lugosi went on to appear in other classic films. In 1941, he starred alongside Lon Chaney Jr. in The Wolfman, and two years later, they reunited in Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman. This time, Lugosi took on the titular role of Frankenstein's monster, while Chaney reprised his role as the Wolfman. Lugosi's involvement in Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman was significant, as it marked his only stint as the Frankenstein monster, a role made famous by Boris Karloff. The film was shot from October 12 to November 11, 1942, and released on March 5, 1943. Apart from his acting career, Bela Lugosi was also a prominent figure in the Hungarian community in the United States. He served as the president of the Hungarian Council for Democracy, an organization that boasted many leading Americans of Hungarian descent among its members. In summary, Bela Lugosi was not only a talented actor, but also a respected leader in the Hungarian community. His contributions to the world of film and his advocacy for Hungarian democracy will always be remembered. Bela Lugosi, an actor of Hungarian origin, left an indelible mark on the film industry, particularly in the horror genre. His portrayal of Count Dracula in the 1931 film adaptation of Bram Stoker's novel brought him enduring fame. This classic performance significantly influenced how vampires were depicted in popular culture, often associated with a Transylvanian accent and a cape. Much like Lugosi's portrayal, Lugosi's impact extends beyond his on-screen persona. His off-screen life, filled with struggles and addictions, has also intrigued many. It serves as a stark reminder of the challenging aspects of fame and the potential pitfalls of the film industry. The actor's contribution to the horror genre is widely recognized. According to film historian David J. Scale, Lugosi's impact on the horror genre is immense. His portrayal of Dracula created a template that has been endlessly replicated and varied. Lugosi's influence is also evident in the work of modern filmmakers. Tim Burton, known for his gothic and horror-themed films, paid homage to Lugosi in his film Ed Wood. In this biopic, Johnny Depp portrays Edward D. Wood Jr., a director who worked with Lugosi in his later career. Moreover, Lugosi's influence transcends the horror genre. His ability to portray a compelling and menacing character has inspired many actors across various genres. His impact is such that his name and image are instantly recognizable, even among those who may not be familiar with his work. In conclusion, Bela Lugosi's contribution to the film industry, particularly in the horror genre, is significant and enduring. His portrayal of Count Dracula has become a classic, influencing numerous adaptations and interpretations of the character. Furthermore, his life and career continue to inspire filmmakers and actors, making him a timeless figure in the world of cinema. Bela Lugosi is best known for his chilling portrayal of Dr. Vitus Werdegast in The Black Cat, but viewers might be surprised to find a drawing resembling William Powell instead of Lugosi on some lobby cards and posters. Before his Hollywood success, Lugosi had an extensive classical career in Hungary, performing in productions such as Hamlet, Macbeth, King Lear, Taming of the Shrew, and Richard III. Lugosi's most iconic role, Count Dracula, was a breakthrough performance that he reprised only once more in 1948's Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein. However, he continued to play vampires in other films, including Todd Browning's Mark of the Vampire for MGM. Lugosi's portrayal of Dracula transcended the screen and became synonymous with the character, leaving a lasting impact on the horror genre. Bela Lugosi, best known for his chilling portrayal of Dracula, led a life that was as fascinating outside of the silver screen. The actor, born in 1882 in Lugos, Hungary, was deeply committed to various philanthropic causes, reflecting his personal values and interests. 
Lugosi's charitable efforts extended to supporting the Actors Fund of America, an organization dedicated to assisting professionals in the entertainment industry facing various hardships. His dedication to this cause underscores his belief in community and solidarity among his peers. Moreover, the actor was a passionate advocate for animal rights. He actively supported the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, using his influence to raise awareness for the humane treatment of animals. Delving deeper into Lugosi's personal life, one discovers his love for chess. This strategic game not only challenged his intellect, but also provided a welcome respite from his intense acting career. In fact, Lugosi was known to engage in spirited chess matches with fellow actors and crew members on the sets of his films. In addition, the actor had a deep appreciation for literature, particularly the works of Edgar Allan Poe. This fascination with the macabre likely influenced his choice of roles, as he became synonymous with gothic horror. Bela Lugosi's personal values and interests, ranging from philanthropy to intellectual pursuits, undoubtedly enriched his professional work. His unwavering commitment to social causes and intellectual curiosity served as a foundation for his iconic on-screen performances, leaving an indelible mark on classic cinema. Bela Lugosi is unique in his association with two holidays. His portrayal of Dracula in the 1931 film, released on Valentine's Day, and his subsequent horror roles have tied him to Halloween. Initially, Universal wasn't keen on hiring Lugosi for Dracula, considering Ian Keith instead. However, Lugosi's manager intervened, securing him the role by highlighting his fitting persona with the statement, he is Dracula. You owe this role to Lugosi. In a parallel with Christopher Lee, both actors have played Count Dracula and Frankenstein's monster. Lugosi's appearances include Dracula and Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein, while Lee's filmography features horror of Dracula to Dracula and Son and the Curse of Frankenstein. This shared experience connects the two actors through their iconic roles. The actor's legacy extends beyond his famous characters, leaving a lasting impact on the horror genre and cinema as a whole. His unforgettable performances continue to resonate with audiences, transcending generations and remaining relevant in the world of classic films. Delving deeper into his work reveals a rich tapestry of contributions, forever etched in the annals of cinematic history. Thespians and film enthusiasts alike can appreciate the enduring charm of Bela Lugosi's classic performances. Bela Lugosi, renowned for his iconic portrayal of Dracula, has left an indelible mark on the film industry. His legacy extends beyond his chilling performance, as he played a significant role in shaping the horror genre. Aspiring actors can learn from Lugosi's dedication to his craft and his ability to fully embody a character. In the classic films he starred in, Lugosi's commitment to his roles was unwavering. He understood the importance of staying true to the story and the character, often immersing himself in the narrative to deliver a captivating performance. This level of dedication is something that aspiring professionals should strive for in their own careers. Lugosi's impact on the film industry transcended his on-screen presence. He was a trailblazer who helped to establish the horror genre as a viable and popular category of film. His work paved the way for future generations of actors and filmmakers to explore the depths of human fear and imagination. For those looking to follow in Lugosi's footsteps, his advice would likely be to stay true to yourself and your craft. In an industry that can often be fickle and unpredictable, it's important to remain grounded and focused on your goals. By dedicating yourself to your art and staying committed to your vision, you can make a lasting impact on the world of film. In addition, Lugosi would likely encourage aspiring actors to explore a wide range of roles and genres. While he is best known for his work in horror, Lugosi was a versatile performer who appeared in a variety of films throughout his career. By expanding your horizons and challenging yourself to take on new and diverse roles, you can grow as an actor and develop a unique voice and style. In the end, Bela Lugosi's legacy is a testament to the power of dedication, hard work, and a commitment to one's craft. His contributions to the film industry continue to resonate with audiences today, and his impact can be seen in the work of countless actors and filmmakers who have followed in his footsteps. For those looking to make their mark in the world of film, Lugosi's example is one that should be cherished and emulated. In the film Mark of the Vampire, Bela Lugosi, pronouncing his name Bela, plays the role of Count Mora. Interestingly, Michael Vazaroff, who plays the innkeeper in this movie, had also played the innkeeper in a previous vampire film starring Lugosi, Dracula. 
Due to the filming of Mark of the Vampire from January 12th to February, Lugosai was unavailable for the role of Dr. Yogami in Werewolf of London. The role was later played by Werner Oland. In Mark of the Vampire, Lugosi has no dialogue until a brief exchange at the very end. Lugosi's son, Bella Jr., has emphasized the correct pronunciation of his father's name multiple times, clarifying any misconceptions. The actor's portrayal of Count Mora in this film is a classic example of his work, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Bella Lugosi, born Bela Ferrand de Blasco, was a man of humble origins who rose to stardom through his unyielding passion for acting. His journey began in Hungary, where he worked as a bank clerk before discovering his love for the stage. Lugosi pursued this passion relentlessly, performing in various theaters across Europe. In 1921, Lugosi made the bold decision to move to the United States, a place teeming with opportunities for those daring enough to seize them. He faced numerous challenges adapting to his new home, including learning a new language and culture. However, his determination never wavered. Lugosi's big break came in 1927 when he starred in the Broadway production of Dracula. His portrayal of the titular character was nothing short of mesmerizing, captivating audiences and critics alike. This classic role would become synonymous with Lugosi's name, solidifying his status as a true Hollywood icon. When talkies became the norm in the 1930s, Lugosi transitioned seamlessly to the silver screen. His distinctive voice and commanding presence made him a natural fit for horror films. Despite being pigeonholed in this genre, Lugosi embraced the challenge, delivering memorable performances in films like White Zombie and The Black Cat. Throughout his career, Lugosi faced numerous obstacles, including typecasting and addiction. Yet, he persevered, remaining dedicated to his craft until the very end. Lugosi's unwavering commitment to his passion serves as a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. In the world of entertainment, Bela Lugosi's impact is still felt today. His innovative approach to acting and his enduring legacy continue to inspire generations of performers. This classic actor's journey reminds us all that, with hard work and determination, we can overcome any obstacle and leave our mark on the world. Despite his interest in romantic leads, actor Bela Lugosi rarely shared a kiss with a female co-star in his Hollywood career. In his early films, The Midnight Girl and Daughters Who Pay, his characters forcibly kiss women and it isn't until the return of Chandu that he shares a brief romantic kiss with a princess. In the 1932 horror film White Zombie, Lugosi played the menacing murder legendary. The movie was later re-released on DVD in 2002 as part of a three-pack, along with The Corpse Vanishes and Scared to Death. These films were in the public domain, bypassing legal technicalities. Lugosi's iconic portrayal of Dracula in Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein included a ring he wore, which was later owned by Forrest J. Ackerman. However, the ring's authenticity has been questioned due to differences between Ackerman's ring and the original. Despite this, an auction house sold the ring and a collector bought it, following pressure on a fan who had investigated the matter. In the 1948 film Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein, the actor Bela Lugosi, known for his role as Dracula, starred alongside Glenn Strange and Lon Chaney Jr., both of whom had also previously played the Frankenstein monster. Interestingly, Lugosi and Glenn Strange shared a birthday with another Hollywood legend, Margaret Dumont. The actor's portrayal of Dracula left a lasting impression on popular culture, as evidenced by his mention in the Kinks' 1972 song Celluloid Heroes, with the lyrics avoid stepping on Bela Lugosi because he's liable to turn and bite. Despite the passing of time, the actor's legacy continues to resonate with audiences, and his contributions to the world of classic horror films are still cherished by many. After becoming typecast as Count Dracula, it's interesting to note that Bela Lugosi never wore fangs for the role, despite their presence in earlier vampire films. In fact, most American horror films, including Dracula, were not well received in Lugosi's native Hungary during the 20th century. Despite his iconic status in the West, Lugosi's work remained largely unknown in Hungary due to strict communist censorship and limited DVD releases. However, Lugosi's career extended beyond Dracula, including three appearances in Universal's Frankenstein series. In Son of Frankenstein, Lugosi introduced the character Wygor, whom he would later reprise in The Ghost of Frankenstein, and Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman. Additionally, Lugosi's Dracula cross paths with Frankenstein's monster in the comedic Abbott 
and Costello meet Frankenstein. Thus, Bela Lugosi's contributions to horror films extended beyond his famous portrayal of Dracula, leaving a lasting impact on the genre. In the 1932 film, White Zombie, the actor Bela Lugosi flawlessly pronounced French, which was unusual as he had dropped out of school at age 12 and was not known to have lived in France. This skill's origin remains a mystery, similar to the ambiguity surrounding his potential German fluency. Shifting to his iconic portrayal of Count Dracula, Lugosi's performance in the 1931 film is striking. His character never blinks, an effect that amplifies the eerie, otherworldly aura of Dracula, complemented by Lugosi's intense, menacing stare. Interestingly, in the 1948 film Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein, Lugosi reprises his role as Dracula, along with Lon Chaney Jr. as Larry Talbot and Glenn Strange as Frankenstein's monster. Despite the reprisals, this film doesn't follow the continuous storyline of the previous movies, providing creative freedom for the plot without requiring explanations for previous events. In the 24 Hungarian DVD release of the classic Universal Horror movies, the actor's voice was dubbed by Janice Papp. Interestingly, Papp is also known for dubbing many of John Goodman's and Morgan Freeman's film roles, and is the modern Hungarian voice actor for Fred Flintstone. However, the actor's most iconic film, Dracula, was only released in his home country with subtitles. One of the locations used for the silent footage shot with the actor in Plan 9 from Outer Space was the home of co-star Tor Johnson. In International House, the actor played General Nicholas Bernowski Petronovich. This film was shot between February and April 1933, with the actor making it after Night of Terror and before The Devil's in Love. In the 1944 film House of Frankenstein, John Carradine wore a distinctive ring, which was later passed on to Bela Lugosi for his role in Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. The same ring can be seen on Lugosi's finger in this 1948 classic. Contrary to popular belief, Bela Lugosi did not wear a hairpiece in the original 1931 film Dracula. However, he did sport a fake widow's peak in many publicity stills. Later, Lugosi would wear a more pronounced widow's peak for his role in White Zombie in 1932. Despite some criticism, the insertion of footage of the late Bela Lugosi in the 1959 film Plan 9 from Outer Space was seen by director Edward D. Wood Jr. as a tribute to the actor. In the final years of his life, Lugosi had developed a close friendship with Wood. In The Ghost of Frankenstein, the actor Bela Lugosi took on the role of Wygor, joining a cast of familiar faces from The Wolfman, including Lon Chaney Jr., Ralph Bellamy, and Evelyn Ankers. Notably, Lugosi's character in this film is quite similar to his role in The Wolfman, with the exception of Wygor. In The Invisible Ray, Lugosi portrayed Dr. Felix Bennett, and a scene from this film was reused in the 1939 Universal serial The Phantom Creeps. The scene in question features Boris Karloff being lowered into a pit containing radium X meteor. Interestingly, in The Phantom Creeps, it was Lugosi who was lowered into the pit, essentially doubling for Karloff. Finally, in You'll Find Out, the actor played the role of Prince Saliano, marking the seventh of eight films to feature both Lugosi and Karloff. This classic also marks the only time that fellow Hungarians Lugosi and Peter Lorre shared the screen. Filmed between August 8 and October 11, 1940, this movie is a must-see for any classic horror fan. Bela Lugosi, the actor famous for his role as Dracula, had a large framed portrait of himself commissioned in the 1930s. The painting depicted him standing in a gray suit, one hand upon his hip, the other holding his coat and hat. This portrait hung in his home until his death and is now owned by Metallica's lead guitarist, Kirk Hammett, a horror movie fan and memorabilia collector. In the Sledgehammer episode, The Last of the Red Hot Vampires, there is a dedication in memory of Mr. Blasco, Lugosi's birth name. This dedication suggests that the actor's influence extended beyond his own time and into popular culture. Despite his early days of stardom in horror films like Dracula, and the Black Cat, Lugosi grew disappointed and frustrated with Hollywood for not offering him leading roles in non-horror productions. His early success had typecast him, and he struggled to break free from this image. Nevertheless, his contributions to the horror genre remain significant, and his legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. In the 1932 film Mark of the Vampire, the actor Bela Lugosi portrayed Count Mora, who was seen with an unusual bullet wound on his temple. The backstory of this wound was originally intended to be more elaborate, with Count Mora having had an incestuous relationship with his daughter Luna, 
and taking his own life. However, due to the poor box office performance of director Todd Browning's previous film Freaks, these details were removed from the script and any remaining references were likely cut when 20 minutes of footage was removed after the film's preview. Lugosi also played the role of Dr. Vitus Werdegast in the 1934 film The Black Cat, which had a scheduled 15-day shoot and a budget of 9125. This budget included a 7,500 salary for Boris Karloff, 3,000 for Lugosi, and 3,000 for Lugosi, and 3,000 for 25 for David Manners. The actual black cat used in the film was paid a mere 200, a reflection of the economic hardships of the time. The actor's son, Bella Lugosi Jr., followed in his father's footsteps in a way, becoming a lawyer in Los Angeles, California, as of 1995. It's a different path than that of his father, but one that still allows him to make his mark in the world. After his passing in 1956, Bela Lugosi was laid to rest wearing one of his signature black silk capes. Contrary to popular belief, this was not the cape he wore in the film Dracula, which was put up for auction by his son in 2011, with a starting bid of 1.2 million, but ultimately failed to sell. The Lugosi family later donated the cape from Dracula to the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures, where it was being restored as of February 2020. In addition to his iconic role as Count Dracula, Bela Lugosi served as the model for the demon Chernabog in Disney's Fantasia. Animators used photographs of Lugosi posing in demonic positions to create the character, resulting in a final on-screen product that clearly displays Lugosi's distinctive expressions and mannerisms. Unfortunately, not all of Bela Lugosi's film roles were well received. Preview screenings of Frankenstein meets the Wolfman were met with laughter every time Lugosi, as the creature spoke. Despite these challenges, the actor's contributions to the world of classic horror films remain significant and enduring. The Lugosi family has long confirmed that being buried in one of his vampire capes was not the actor's dying wish, but rather a decision made by his son and ex-wife, Lillian Arch. The family has also clarified that the cape Lugosi wore in Dracula was not the one he was buried in, but will be put on display at the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures alongside other prestigious Golden Age of Hollywood star props and artifacts. Contrary to popular belief, Bela Lugosi, the actor known for his iconic role in Dracula, did not have a natural widow's peak. The hairline was painted on for publicity stills of the 1931 film, but Lugosi did wear a more pronounced widow's peak in White Zombie the following year. In Son of Frankenstein, Lugosi's role as Wygor was expanded by director Roland V. Lee, who felt the actor was being underpaid. Despite urban legends suggesting otherwise, Boris Karloff had no involvement in this decision. Lugosi also contributed to Walt Disney's Fantasia, providing live-action reference footage for the terrifying demon Chernabog in the night on Bald Mountain sequence. These lesser-known facts add depth to the actor's career, revealing a man dedicated to his craft and deserving of recognition beyond his most famous role. Delving into these details offers a more nuanced understanding of Bela Lugosi's contributions to the world of film. From Dracula to Fantasia, his presence left a lasting impact on the industry. One can only imagine what other fascinating stories remain to be discovered about this classic Hollywood figure. After working as a sailor on a merchant ship, the actor Bela Lugosi finally entered the United States through New Orleans in December 1920. Although he became well known for his dark roles and sinister characters, many people may not know that Lugosi was a devout Catholic in real life. In fact, he was laid to rest at the Holy Cross, a Catholic cemetery in Culver City, California. One of his films, Bride of the Monster, received mixed reviews but is often enjoyed by his fans. Despite its poor reputation, this classic offers Lugosi a substantial role, memorable lines, and a surprisingly energetic performance for his age. The actor's portrayal of Dr. Eric Vornoff remains one of his most iconic roles, showcasing his talent and versatility as a performer. Despite his sinister on-screen persona, Lugosi's faith and commitment to his religion remained an essential part of his life. His legacy as a talented actor and devout Catholic continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Bela Lugosi, the renowned actor, was known for his disinterest in Hollywood parties, preferring small, intimate gatherings at his home with Hungarian artisans and film crew. He believed in making the most of his time and saw no value in schmoozing at large events. Contrary to popular belief, Lugosi did not harbor hatred for his colleague, Boris Karloff. While they were both vying for similar roles, their relationship was strictly professional. 
there was no personal animosity between them, and they remained amicable when working together. Interestingly, both actors' careers eerily mirrored each other. Before they even met, they both starred in their own versions of The Last of the Mohicans in the fall of 1920. Lugosi appeared in the German film Leather Stocking the Deerslayer, and Chingachgook in September, with a sequel following in November. Meanwhile, Karloff was merely an extra in the American version, which came out 11 days after Lugosi's second film. Bela Lugosi, known for his portrayal of Dracula, had a surprising preference for sportswear over the tuxedos he often wore on screen. His favorite material was flannel, and he favored bright colors. Born Bela Ferenc Dejo Blasco, the actor's parents were Stephen Blasco and Paula von Voynix. Despite studio hype claiming his father was a count, he was actually a bank president. Lugosi had three siblings, Vilma, Hajos, and Laszlo. A commemorative 32 U.S. postage stamp was issued in 1997, featuring Lugosi as Dracula. He shares this honor with other classic movie monsters, and the actors who portrayed them, including Lon Chaney as the Phantom of the Opera, Lon Chaney Jr. as the Wolfman, and Boris Karloff as the Mummy, and the Monster in Frankenstein. This stamp series pays tribute to the lasting impact these films and actors have had on the world of cinema. After the successful re-release of the original Frankenstein, and the double feature of Frankenstein and Dracula in 1938, Universal Pictures decided to produce Son of Frankenstein. This film marked the third installment in the Frankenstein series and featured Bela Lugosi as Igor. The success of this movie led the studio to resume producing monster movies, resulting in a series of Frankenstein, Vampire, Mummy, and Werewolf sequels over the following decade. In The Body Snatcher, Lugosi played Joseph, but his poor health caused difficulties during filming. His co-star, Boris Karloff, demonstrated patience, particularly in scenes featuring both actors. When it came to the Spanish version of Dracula, the actor portraying Condi Dracula, Carlos Villar, resembled Herbert Munden more than Lugosi in terms of both appearance and mannerisms. Despite this, Lugosi's portrayal of Dracula remains a classic performance. In the film Dracula, Bela Lugosi's castmates, including David Manners, didn't take the production seriously, unlike Lugosi. To prepare for his role, Lugosi would immerse himself in it, even going so far as to say I am Dracula while on set, wrapped in his cloak. This was his unique way of building concentration and staying in character. Contrary to some claims made by biographers, Lugosi never confused his real life with his role. His dedication to his craft was confirmed by Carol Borland, his son Bela Lugosi Jr., and others who knew him well. The actor's professionalism was also evident in Bride of the Monster, where it remains uncertain who his body double was, with Eddie Parker and Red Reagan being the most frequently cited possibilities. In Island of Lost Souls, Lugosi's role as Sayer of the Law was not included in the original screenplay, but was added later. Additional action and dialogue were added for his scenes, suggesting that the filmmakers wanted to enhance his part in the film. Lugosi's contributions to this classic film, as well as his other roles, have left a lasting impact on the world of cinema. In the final years of his career, Bela Lugosi, known for his role as Dracula, appeared in the film Plan 9 from Outer Space. Shots of Lugosi were used, although they were filmed before the script was written. The director, Edward D. Wood Jr., had to write the script around the existing footage, which was shot in a cemetery and outside the home of wrestler Tor Johnson. Lugosi's character was doubled by Tom Mason, who was significantly taller, and wore a cape to cover his face. Before becoming an actor, Lugosi served in the Austro-Hungarian army during World War I as an infantry captain. He shared stories from his time in the military, which included acting as a hangman and hiding in a mass grave to escape death. After being wounded three times, he was discharged while apparently feigning concussion caused insanity. In 1931, Lugosi tested for the role of the Frankenstein creature. He wore a thick, clay-like makeup that resembled the monster from the German film The Golem. Despite not getting the part, Lugosi's iconic image as Dracula continued to resonate with audiences. His legacy as a classic horror actor remains to this day. Bela Lugosi, known for his role in the classic film Island of Lost Souls, was not only a talented actor, but also a generous individual. He raised money for the Bergson Group, an organization that aimed to raise awareness about the plight of European Jews during World War II. In addition to his charitable work, Lugosi was known for his entertaining presence among the Hungarian members of the Hollywood community. He often threw parties and was described as an inveterate practical joker by biographer Robert Kremer. 
At these gatherings, he would hire comic actor Vince Barnett to play the role of a clumsy waiter, spilling drinks, and dropping plates of hors d'oeuvres to the amusement of his guests. Island of Lost Souls also had an impact on the music scene, with several bands paying tribute to the film in their songs. Devo, Boingo Boingo, The Meteors, The Cramps, Van Halen, and Manimals all featured elements of the film in their music. Lugosi's character and the film's storyline were directly referenced in songs such as Jocko Homo, No Spill Blood, and Island of Lost Souls. The U.S. horror rock band Manimals even based much of their stage persona on the film and included a What is the Law? section in their song Island of Lost Souls, which fans would chant during live shows. In conclusion, Bela Lugosi's talents and contributions extended beyond his acting roles. He was a generous and entertaining individual who left a lasting impact on those around him and on the music scene with his classic film Island of Lost Souls. Bela Lugosi is a name that continues to resonate in the world of classic cinema. The actor, best known for his chilling portrayal of Count Dracula, left an indelible mark on the film industry. His work in the 1931 film adaptation of Bram Stoker's Dracula is still considered one of the most iconic performances in horror movie history. Lugosi's portrayal of the infamous vampire brought a level of sophistication and elegance to the character that had never been seen before. His thick Hungarian accent and hypnotic delivery of lines like I Vant to Suck Your Blood have become etched in the memories of generations of moviegoers. But Lugosi's contributions to the film industry extend far beyond his work in Dracula. He appeared in numerous other films throughout his career, including White Zombie, Murders in the Rue Morgue, and The Black Cat. Despite facing significant challenges, including a struggle with addiction and typecasting, Lugosi remained a dedicated and passionate actor until the end of his life. As we look back on the career of this classic thespian, it's impossible not to be struck by the enduring impact of his work. Lugosi's performances continue to captivate audiences, and his legacy lives on in the many actors who have been inspired by his work. So, what do you think of Bela Lugosi's contributions to the world of film? Do you have a favorite Lugosi performance or film? Be sure to share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping energy.